Hey everybody, this is Jessica and I'm here again with Country Pumpkin and I'm, this is from, by Mamie Made It and I put in the description box if you are interested in purchasing where to go which would be at her website. So this little treat holder um, for gum was not my original um, inspiration. It was actually, I was inspired by Don O on YouTube. So if you want to see this assembled, you can head down to her channel. I will give you the measurements really quick though. Um, so basically with a 12 by 12 sheet, you can get four of these treat um, gum holders. And if you cut it at three inches by 11 inches, and here you would use the word window punch from Stamp It Up. And this mat here is cut at three and one fourth by two and three fourths. And this one I just cut a quarter of an inch smaller. These score marks here, this one was scored at three and one fourth and this one was scored at seven and seven and a half. So again, she did a great, awesome job in that tutorial. So I don't, I don't, want you to spend too much time on my channel and her she did it really quick so just hop over to her channel and check it out she just put a piece of red sticky tape here right here to adhere this here and so I did the same so this stamp set is from the May May Made It Trick or Treat and this these two bats and this little mouse is from Close to My Heart and I purchased the stamp set it was $11.95, I believe, from Judy Ashmore, and she, too, has a channel, so you can head over. I don't have the name because I have my 13-year-old sleepwalks, and if she does something during the day, she tends to repeat it or at night while she's sleeping, and so she wanted to play with the stamp set, but I was using it, told her she had to wait another day, so she decided another day wasn't enough. She got up, and I don't know where it's at. I don't know what she did with it. So I can't give you the name. Um, that's just a funny little story anyways. So here is what it, this is which way to the candy. And again, I used that close to my heart, and then Mamie made it. This is also a close to my heart stamp set that disappeared along with this stamp set. And this is the back of this. This paper um, I bought a long time ago. And I don't know what the company is, sorry. So basically this is this is how it goes and you just um, stick your adhesive and you can stick it here to hold this down. But basically this gum I got from the Dollar Tree and this is the same gum she actually used and that's why I decided to do it because I bought this gum for treats before she before I had even seen her video. And then when I saw her video, I was like, oh, perfect, I have the gum already. So anyways, and I just added a piece here. She made an, a closure and a little like belly band and I just kept it simple and easy to mass produce. All right, so with that said, let's see. This I bought from Michaels. They have it on clearance. It's about 30 of them, I think, for $1.99. They were actually file folders, and I just snip off the end of that. And I would, let me just show you that. Or not. My little girl had a fun in my bit, my scrapbook room. I still love it to pieces though. So, anyways, let's just adhere this. This is a three by three card, so three by six. And it's actually a file folder, and I just cut off the file tab and made it into a card. They were pre-made. They have different colors of it. And. They have different colors of it, and I just thought it was perfect for Halloween. You know what? I think I might know what she did with it. Here we go. She put it in, in her bag. 
So this is what it looks like. <laughs> See, and I just snipped that off. But there were 30 of them, and they're perfect for Halloween. I actually found these for a dollar last week. They had them 50% off. And so these go perfectly with these, and this is what I'm going to use for one of my church callings um, to just make a little note card, just letting people know that we were thinking of them and miss them at church and would love to see them come. I hope you guys are all doing fine. Send me an email and let me know how you guys are doing. And haven't heard from a lot of you in a long time and those surgeries really knocked me off my feet. I wanted to put a little scallop there behind it, but that's okay. I just kept it really simple. That boo again is from that country pumpkin stamp set from May May Made It. It's right here, booya all. And I just used the boo part, so I masked off the other with some posty notes. And so there's a simple 3x3 three three card um, using a few products and I hope you guys are doing great again and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.